going to talk about how Kate Middleton's picture is worth 1,000 news articles, and Lara Trump and Jesus take the wheel at the RNC, and Congress gets to the bottom of whether Biden is old. But first, <laughs> but first, Desi, I think we should take a moment to acknowledge Equal Pay Day, because women don't earn enough, and personally, I'm sick of it. Oh, yeah. that's so nice, Michael. In fact, in the spirit of transparency, I'd like us to both say our salaries out loud <laughs> right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, we don't really need to do that. <laughs> no, Desi, I'm an ally. I want to bring light <laughs> to an issue affecting all women. Well, I, I mean, there might not be a pay gap for every woman. Some <laughs> women might be making more than men. <laughs> so I think we can just move Sixty-five dollars a week. Sixty-five dollars a week. <laughs> That's what I make. Now, now go ahead and say yours. You don't have to be embarrassed. Uh, you're right. I make less than that, Michael. <laughs> this country disgusts me. <laughs> Well, now that we have that out of the way, there's a lot of election news today, so let's get into it with another installment of Indecision 2024. Big campaign news. For years now, Donald Trump has gradually been taking over the Republican Party. First, he got Ted Cruz's balls, then he took Mitch McConnell's spine, and now he's finally reached the butthole of the party, the Republican National Committee, and he's giving it a thorough cleansing. Dozens of staffers getting laid off just days after Donald Trump's handpicked team took over the organization. Top officials in communications, the political department, the data team, all getting the ax. Lara Trump, the former president's daughter-in-law, is now the committee's co-chair. In her speech nominating Lara Trump, RNC committee woman Beth Block argued that it doesn't matter if Lara Trump lacks traditional qualifications. In a world where qualifications are often measured by titles and years of experience, we are reminded of a powerful truth. God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Laura Trump is the embodiment of this truth. <laughs> this is the most mean girl introduction I have ever heard. A lot of people think that you should be qualified to have a job, but here's Lara Trump anyway. Take it up with God. <laughs> why God would, but, 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 but I get why God would bless Donald Trump appointing his daughter-in-law. I mean, Jesus was the original Nepo baby. For, <laughs> forget a job. He started an entire religion based on, um, do you know who my father is? <laughs> There is some truth to it. Lara is completely unqualified. Of course, that's never stopped her before. And I'll keep this world from dragging me down. Gonna And I won't back down. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's okay to back down. Oh, my God. I mean, I blame God for that performance, although <laughs> I think she proved that there isn't one. 